Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. It's for Wednesday, the 7th day of May. Here we go. Today, a Halacha that's probably going to catch some of you by surprise. Uh, and you'll need to know this, well, maybe I'm saying it early, but you'll need to know it for Shavuos or any Yom Tov as it arrives. And that's the following. Everybody knows that on Shabbos you're not allowed to carry outdoors unless there's an Eruv in your community. And everybody is familiar with the heter, the allowance, to carry on Yom Tov even when there's not an Eruv. But the part that's not so well known by people is that carrying outdoors on Yom Tov for no purpose at all is not permitted. The only thing that is allowed on Yom Tov carrying wise is stuff that you need to be doing for the Yom Tov. Like, for example, you need your talus. Well, maybe that's not a great example because you could be wearing it. But you need your sitter in shul, okay? Your special sitter that you know how to dial them from. And it's not in shul, and you're going to need it at shul. So you're totally allowed to carry it with you to shul on Yom Tov, even if there's no area, no Erev in your area. And that's because uh, you're allowed to carry on Yom Tov for Yom Tov needs. And that sitter, machsor or whatever, is very necessary for your Yom Tov davening. The talus, if you need to carry it, it's very necessary for you to carry it so that you can use it to daven with at the shul. But here's the one that's going to catch some of you by surprise. Carrying on Yom Tov, where there's no Erev, for no purpose at all, that's actually not permitted. You're only allowed to be carrying for the Yom Tov needs. So there are some famous examples of things that are not needed for Yom Tov, and uh, you're not allowed to carry them on Yom Tov. Here, let's do an example. Let's say you need to push the stroller with the baby inside of it on Yom Tov, and um, that's very necessary because the baby needs a walk. That's, that's a Yom Tov need. The baby will be less cranky or maybe even fall asleep. And it's totally, totally, totally fine to push just the stroller with the baby in it on Yom Tov for the need of Yom Tov. But the catch is, what if there's something being carried in the stroller at that point that has no Yom Tov purpose? Somebody left a dictionary uh, in the bottom basket of the, uh, of the stroller, and while you're pushing the baby around in the stroller, you're also pushing around that dictionary. That is no yount of purpose whatsoever. Someone just put it in there, and you're now carrying a dictionary all around with you on that walk on Yom Tov, and that's not a Yom Tov need. The dictionary does not need to be walked around on this Yom Tov. The baby needs to be pushed in the stroller. So when you go out on Yom Tov and carry in a city where there's no Erev, in a city where there's no Erev, you would have to make certain that do you need your key to get back in the house? Fine. Then take the key. Do you need your um, something else in your pocket for the need of Yom Tov? Then fine. But if in your pocket is a... Um, can't think of an item right now, but something that has nothing to do with Yom Tov. It's just sitting there. It's your uh, card that you left in there with your notes about nothing to do with Yom Tov. Then what are you carrying it for? Um, you should actually be checking if you're in a town with no Eruv. When you go out on Yom Tov, check your pockets that you're not carrying things that are unnecessary. I know a lot of you listen to this daily Devar Halacha in Baltimore. Baltimore is a city with an Eruv, and you're used to using the Eruv, so it'll cover for you just the way it does for you on Shabbos. But if you were in a town without an Eruv, then what you would have to watch for very carefully is that you don't have items in your pockets that have no Yom Tov use. By that uh, token, I should just add in that if on the Yom Tov you wanted to carry your talus home with you because you want to have it ready for tomorrow in a different place, then you're carrying on the first day of Yom Tov for something for the second day of Yom Tov. That's not so kosher either. So just please be aware of details like this when carrying on Yom Tov. If there's no Erev, you should only carry the things that you need. A harsh example that I just learned in a Halacha Sefer is this. If you have a combination code on your house that totally locks your house and totally lets you lo uh, walk back in, and you just feel like carrying the key also, when the combination code is perfectly adequate for securing your home and for letting you back in, then what did you carry your key for? You really shouldn't have carried the key if it wasn't necessary for securing your house. So watch for things like that when carrying on Yom Tov. Try to remember that all the way till Shulis. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more Popeye.